Specifically, we're taking time to remember our baptism, but in a more general sense, today is a time for us to remember surrender. What was that moment in your life, the time when you gave up control? We're going to sing a song at the end of the service that says, remember surrender, remember the rest, remember that weight lifting off of your chest, and realizing that it's not up to you, and it never was. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Speaking of beautiful things, we're going to have the angel choir uh, sing for us before we go on. So let's welcome them this morning.
We're going to use that music, that gift today. Let's praise the Lord together. <coughs> I mentioned that today's focus is remembering. Remembering surrender. Remembering that moment when we put our hands up, we sank into the water, and we rise like Christ was raised to life. And now in Him we live. Would you stand and sing with us?
Let's pray this morning our prayer of confession. Father God, we acknowledge today that we have short memories. We often forget not only the beauty that you bring into our lives every day, but we easily forget the promises we have made. We forget the moment of surrender when your peace entered our lives, and we often stray from the home that we had made there. We confess our need for your spirit to help us hear the voice of the one who speaks clearly of helping and healing us deep within. Please open our ears so that we may hear that voice, the voice that calls us to die to ourselves daily and to rise to be more like Christ. I will rise. I will rise as Christ was raised to life. Now it As the sound reverberates throughout the sanctuary, welcome to worship. My name is Vicki Walker. I'm one of the ministers here, and it's a joy to welcome you to this service as today we will be invited to come forward and touch the water and remember our baptism and remembering the baptism of our Lord. It's a joy to have you worshiping with us, and if this is your first time or first time in a long time, I invite you to take a moment to fill out that connection card and let us know that you're here. On the back, there's a place for any prayer request or information you'd like to share with the church staff. And if you're new and would like to know more about the church, there's a red awning out in the courtyard that's called the Connection Point, and that's a place where they can connect you to the answers to your questions and connect you to other ministries and services that we have here. Well, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and so our Lenten journey begins. We'll have services here in the chapel at 1215 and downtown at the portico, and then also Wednesday night at 630. You can read about that on the back of your worship folder. You can also see that our uh, Lenten series is going to be entitled Crossroads. And so during this 40-day journey, when we have a time to reflect upon our lives, we'll be reflecting upon the crossroads that we each come to in our lives and the decisions that we make. Next week, our message will be on convenience and integrity. Hmm, something to think about. And so uh, it is indeed a joy to, to welcome you, and I, I pray that this will be the beginning of an important journey for you as you participate in our, our services this week and in Lent and in the days to come. Slowly and deliberately to the church, clearly intent on reclaiming it as a place of worship and celebrating the sacrament within it. As he walks to the church, so he is joined by other priests and onlookers. As they approach the entrance of the church, two soldiers raise their automatic rifles and the sergeant in charge Standing between them draws a handgun and points it straight at Ramiro. He looks straight back at the guns and keeps on walking towards them, knowing that at any moment those triggers could be pulled, spitting instant death. As Ramiro walks resolutely towards those guns, facing and accepting the death that they threatened, something changes. 
In that moment, the sergeant's power, the power of his gun, the power of the threat of death crumbled. Powerless to resist, the sergeant drops his gun and turns his head and Ramiro and the great crowd behind him walk into the church. Together, they celebrate the sacrament of the body and blood of Christ and the glory and the transforming power of his death and resurrection. It was a glory that Ramiro himself would share. On the 24th of March, 1980, while he was celebrating Mass, an assassin's rifle rang out and a bullet pierced his heart. And just like that, Oscar Ramiro died. And yet, it was a death that wasn't a death in the ultimate sense. For the witness of his life lives on even now. And the glory of God that we see in him, the glory of a human being fully and freely alive, the glory of death and resurrection, the glory of Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of Man, that is the glory. The same glory that shines over your life and mine today, telling us not to be afraid, calling us to lay down our lives also, to journey through the waters of baptism, of death and resurrection, so that the likeness of God might be seen in us, we who are truly the beloved sons and daughters of God. And so let me close with words spoken by Oscar Romero. We accomplish in our lifetime only a tiny fraction of the magnificent enterprise that is God's work. Nothing we do is complete, which is a way of saying that the kingdom always lies beyond us. No statement says all that could be said. No prayer fully expresses our faith. No confession brings perfection. No pastoral visit brings wholeness. No program accomplishes the church's mission. No set of goals and objectives includes everything. This is what we are about. We plant the seeds that one day will grow. We water seeds already planted, knowing that they hold future promise. We lay foundations that will need further development. We provide yeast that produces far beyond our capabilities. We cannot do everything, and there is a sense of liberation in realizing that. This enables us to do something, and to do it very well. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. We may never see the end results, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders, ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future, not our own. We come today to embrace that and to allow the new life that is ours in Christ to be sown within our world for the good news that it most truly is. Thanks be to God. Amen. And so, friends, we come now in response to God's word to share together in the reaffirmation of baptism and renewal of covenant. The words for our response to this liturgy will be up on the screen. I'd invite Vicky to join me at the font, please. Brothers and sisters in Christ, 
Through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirits. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. We come today to reaffirm our baptism and the good news it proclaims that we are the beloved sons and daughters of God. We also come to renew our covenant commitment to God, declaring that we are no longer our own, but that we belong to God. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, where nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb, He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Together, sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. Pour out your Holy Spirit and by this gift of water call to our remembrance the grace declared to us in our baptism. For you have washed away our sins, and you clothe us with righteousness throughout our lives, that dying and rising with Christ, we may share in his final victory. Together we say, all All praise to you, you, eternal Eternal Father, through through your your Son, Son, Jesus Christ, who who with you and the Holy Holy Spirit Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. And so, dearly beloved sons and daughters of God, Today, remember your baptism and be thankful. Amen. The team is going to lead us in the singing of a beautiful song, Remember, Surrender. And as they sing, you're invited to come forward and to dip your hands in the water, maybe to touch your hands to your forehead if you so wish, to remember your baptism, whether you have any conscious recollection of it or not but to remember your baptism, that you have died with Christ and you have been raised with him to new life. And if you haven't yet been baptized, you are still invited to come forward and to place your hands in these waters as a sign of that baptismal grace that still awaits you. There will be baptism services on Easter Sunday this year, and if you haven't been baptized, we would love for you to be a part of that. And so come forward now as the Spirit leads, as the team lead us in song.
Beloved in Christ, let us rejoice in the faithfulness of our covenant God, who declares that we are God's beloved children and who calls us now to renew our covenant commitment to be the followers of Christ. Christ has many services to be done. Some are easy, others are difficult. Some bring honor, others bring reproach. Some are suitable to our natural inclinations and material interests. Others are contrary to both. Yet the power to do all these things is given to us in Christ, who strengthens us. Let us join together in praying the covenant prayer. We say together the words that are up on the screen. I am no longer my own, but yours. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be employed for you or laid aside for you. Exalted for you or brought low for you. Let me be full. Let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and wholeheartedly yield all things to your pleasure and disposal. And now, glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours, so be it. And the covenant now made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. Let us join together now in that prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In response to all of this, we, we come now to bring our tithes and offerings to God for his work. I would ask the ushers to wait upon us. As they do so, the team will lead us 
in the singing of a beautiful song washed by the water. And all God's people said, Amen. Friends, before we say the benediction, um, there's a slight change to the order. I hope it's going to be okay, Brent. But I'd like us to sing one more song. And that was the song we sang right up front in the service, uh, Beneath the Waters, I Will Rise. Can we find the words somewhere on the screens? It feels like we need to sing this one to close us out. So beneath the waters, I will rise. Take us away. Thank you, guys. We are flexible this morning. <laughs> the second one.
it stands eternal. Your kingdom knows no way. Your praise goes on forever and on and on again. No will stand against you. No curse will salt your throne. No one can steal your glory, for it is yours alone. I stand to sing your praises. I stand to testify, for I was dead in my sin. I will rise. I will rise. As Christ was raised in life, I will. beloved son, you are my beloved daughter. In you, I am well pleased. Friends, go forth cleansed and renewed as a freed and forgiven people to love God and your neighbor in all that you do. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.